that was the attitude. So he was basically symbolic and speaking for what America was all about. To the frustration of those that long for justice for these historical icons, government documents that supported the research for films like MLK FBI or Judas and the Black Messiah were only relatively recently declassified. But this year's award season has shown that stories of past prominent Black figures undermined by the U.S. government can still have a powerful resonance with today's audiences. Strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees. <laughs> As the coronavirus pandemic continues, BBC News has in-depth coverage. South Africa, where a new variant of coronavirus is causing alarm. India is aiming to vaccinate 300,000 people every day. Public health officials are warning that it could get worse still. See the headlines as they happen with breaking news alerts in the app. And get the full story with bbc.com forward slash news. Follow the story for all the latest with BBC News. BBC World News, I'm Philippa Thomas, our top stories. Gasping for breath, desperate patients in need of oxygen as India's healthcare system buckles in the wake of a record coronavirus surge. Prime Minister Modi says the government's trying hard to boost oxygen supplies, with patients reported to be dying due to shortages. Jailed Russian opposition activist Alexei Navalny announces an end to his 24-day hunger strike. How to harness technology in the battle to curb emissions. Billionaires join world leaders on day two of President Biden's Global Climate Summit. And a new malaria vaccine developed in Britain shows promising results for stopping infections. Hello, Alina. Hello. How are you? Uh, I think, uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> what don't you know? The, the weather is rainy and I'm uh, a little bit sad. Okay, um, just uh, what is new? What? What is new? Uh, what is the new about? Or... Okay, uh, just tell me the news, the latest news, because I am writing answers to the people. Uh, uh, the, uh, I think um, Alexei Navalny is. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, uh, asking, I'm asking you about your news. Ah, uh, about my news. Okay. Um, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> All right, uh, we have uh, Masha. Uh, hello, Masha. Hello. Um, how are you? I'm okay, and what about you? I'm doing good, thank you. So, you know, while I'm writing answers to the messages of uh, people, just talk to Alina, just introduce each other, get to know, ask her, you, you know everything. Just stop, please, go ahead. Okay, hello, Alina, how are you? Uh, hello, I'm so sorry, I think. <laughs> okay, I see. So can you tell something about uh, yourself? Mm, uh, I, I'm from Tula. Uh, I'm from uh, 10th grade and uh, uh, I um, start learning English uh, um, Davna. Um, not much time. Um, 
Okay, I do. Uh, okay, I understand you. Relax. Okay, just continue. <laughs> I like drawing and uh, I like um, um, studying maths and uh, maybe economics. And uh, I start uh, learning English because I want to um, uh, I want to study in the Moscow University, um, like uh, Hesse or um, no, okay, Hesse and uh, it's not, it's not, you just you speak ah. English. It's H S E. Ah, H S T. Okay, thank you. Uh, and uh, um, there is uh, exam in English in this university, so I study <laughs> it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, do you need English for your Russian national exam to take? Uh, what? Okay. Ah, okay. 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 <laughs> uh, uh, yes, I I'm going to uh, pass the exam in English, Russian okay. national exam in English. Okay. And what subjects with English as a subject? Um, общество знаний. Я не знаю, как будет. Social studies. Social studies and uh, maths and mm -hmm. Russian, of course. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, I wish you good luck with that. Thanks. Galina, maybe you have some questions to Maria. Maybe you want to know a little bit about Maria. Uh, can you uh, tell me uh, something about you? Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, my name is Masha. I'm from Vlansk region. It's town Klinsi. Uh, I am like you in 10th grade. I'm 16. Um, I'm just, uh, I like dancing, but right now I try to concentrate all my free time uh, to learn my to learn different subjects, uh, topics, just to take, and uh, I hope I pass exam at 11th grade. So yeah, something like that. Uh, uh, Masha, do not forget about uh, concentrate. It's uh, a little bit too official, like to focus. The focus. Ah, okay. Is, yeah, it's it's much easier. You you can say mm -hmm. concentrate is okay, but it's a little bit formal. Okay, yes. I understand. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, to focus. Okay, very good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have uh, another newcomer. So just ladies, it's a, a totally new person. Just uh, welcome her here and uh, just uh, ask her the same questions like Alina and Masha, just uh, start talking with Maria. Go ahead and I will be ans answering the messages. Hello, Maria, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, how are you? Uh, I'm fine too, so... Could you tell a little bit about yourself? Okay, great. Um, I am a second year student of uh, Moscow University. I am studying government and municipal management. And I just saw uh, a notification from one of my uh, group about this meeting. And I decided to join because I think that uh, now I'm lack of English practice and I need to do it more often. So that's probably why I'm here. And I'm so glad to hear you, <laughs> not to see you, but to hear you all. We do not turn videos uh, because, uh, you know, the connection might be very poor. All right, okay. You just uh, ask uh, the young ladies uh, your questions. Maybe you want to know something about them. Okay, uh, Alina, my question goes to you. So maybe you can tell me about yourself in like five words, five, 10 words. Where are you from? Uh, what do you do for a living and so on? I am from Tula and uh, I studied at uh, 10th grade uh, in uh, physics and maths class. Uh, and 
I'm going to pass uh, English exam uh, and uh, I want to uh, study in Moscow University, uh, HSC, uh, HSC uh, I say. Okay, uh, HSC. All right, thank you. High School of Economics, HSC. HSE High School of Economics. Okay. Great choice. So, Masha, <laughs> nice to meet you. Maybe you can tell me about yourself. Yeah, Please. of course. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'm from uh, Clean Seeds, Bransk region. I am 16. I'm in 10th grade. In 10th grade. And uh, it's uh, so cool to hear. To have you here because uh, it's really interesting that you are okay you are older than we are and it's really cool uh, like right now we all trying to do our best to just to take exams and after enter a university and you like did this already have done this already and it's so cool because right now i have some questions for you because mm -hmm. of this Okay, thank you. Now, ladies, uh, just uh, the next question, you know, as always, uh, Alina already uh, talked about that, but uh, still I want you to share uh, what's new just uh, uh, about you, Masha, and uh, about you, Maria. What is new? Um, it's just uh, what uh, new happened uh, to you during this week or whatever you want to share. Please go ahead. Okay, who's first? That doesn't go matter. Ahead. Okay, then I think that I should say some words because I watched your the video of your previous class, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that I just want to tell you why I wasn't uh, on this class. So I'm usually really a kind person and just relax and polite person, but last Friday I have just you know. I have really good relationships with my class teacher. She just loves me and I love her too, in a good way, of course. But uh, there was a thing, a point, and uh, we have totally different uh, opinions on that. So we have just the biggest quarrels just in my life with class teacher. And I was so angry with her. I was angry at myself and I was just I don't know, I don't have energy on something. I was just lying on my bed and thinking what and why and what to do the next step, why, how I can uh, just uh, make our relationships good again. And I just was so angry and I want, and I want, I didn't want to give you this bad energy on this class. So I just was uh, lying and uh, it was just you know it's awful period it was just awful friday but right now everything is fine we just uh, have a compromise with my teacher and uh, everything is fine again and i'm really thankful for that and yeah i hope everything will fine yeah you're very welcome if you want to share some negative energy here you know <laughs> we will replace your negative energy with a positive one okay yeah, uh, somebody else. Um, we have some newcomers, uh, just uh, um, welcome them also and uh, just uh, uh, get to know everything which you want to know from them about uh, their news or about their the city where they live and anything else. Go ahead, ladies. <clears throat> just uh, I'll let the people feel. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello, guys. Hello. Katya and Alina, it's really nice to have you here. So can you tell a little bit about yourself? So Alina, where are you from? How old are you? Hello, I am from Moscow. I am 17 and um, I am glad to have to have like this opportunity to talk with, with someone to improve my English skills. 
Okay. okay. And which exams are you going to take? Are you I'm in the uh, Okay. I'm going to take maths and English. Oh, so. okay. Yes, thank you. You. And you. Oh, <laughs> social studies, Russian, English, mm -hmm. and literature. Mm, great. I. Uh, Russian also because it is basic. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. And um, 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 I like literature. It's, yeah, it's I really think it's a great choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, thank but you. It's some hard for me to uh, pass and maths and literature, and I decided to pass on the maths. Yeah, it's cool. If it's easier for you, then it's great choice. Yeah. yeah. How about Ekaterina? Um, hello, everyone. Uh, and uh, well, I'm Katya, and I'm from Nizhny Tagil. Uh, but my native town is Berezniki, which is uh, near Perm. And uh, well, I'm uh, 23 years old. And uh, I am um, a teacher of German at school. And uh, well, I'd like to improve my English. That's why I'm here. And uh, that's why I, uh, I wanted uh, to join to, uh, to you. Uh, so yeah, my... Yeah, maybe about your latest news, just a little bit share about your latest news. Um, What's new, yeah, happened in your life during the previous week? Well, uh, I uh, started my career as a, German, uh, as a teacher of German. Uh, and uh, honestly, I, I don't, I'm not really fond of this job <laughs> and and they'd like to change it uh, probably um, I would like uh, to go somewhere else for example uh, uh, I'd like to um, well give lessons uh, at uh, the local centers maybe mm -hmm. okay. no. Yeah, yeah, ladies, do you have any questions to you, Katerina? Because for me, it's, yeah. obvious. it's obvious. Why don't you like your teacher's job and this still uh, you got this occupation? Just uh, share if you want to. If you don't want to, to, to talk about that, that's up to you. But anyway. Uh, well, uh, when I entered to the university, uh, I thought that um, uh, I would... Uh, I would be into this career uh, because uh, I really like uh, children. But uh, when I started uh, this job, uh, I realized that uh, uh, well, there are there are uh, some problems. I can't I can't cope with the discipline, and uh, well. Uh, also, I have an experience uh, of giving lessons to children as a private teacher. And, uh, well, uh, it was easier for me to give uh, private lessons to children uh, uh, than uh, to give yeah, I, uh, I lessons. Yeah. Okay. Uh Ladies, you just, if you have questions or somebody, I think that uh, not all of you share the latest news, just please share the latest news and we will go ahead uh, to the next uh, topic, please. Okay, I think that I am the last one to share. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I don't know what to tell you, but... Um, during the last week, I just started my working on my project. Uh, as I said, I study government. I'm studying government and municipal management, but actually, I'm not gonna work in that sphere. And that's <laughs> I just I, I just don't feel like not just I'm capable of. I'm sure I am, but I don't think that I can cope with it. I can cope with it, all that pressure and so on. And um, 
as I realized that that's not the place um, I want to be in, I just started my uh, project and and I uh, took a part in a course on uh, transmedia storytelling. That's about PR in um, and marketing, and it's kind of connected with storytelling and uh, cinematography, and it in, um, it includes all the tools that marketing use. Okay, um, thank you, uh, Maria. I, I was just thinking that, you know, we have uh, a teacher and we have uh, you also. Okay, somebody is uh, asking me to enter. Okay, that's Mark. Um, yeah, that, that's kind of a, you know, very interesting that uh, you guys, you have uh, your occupations and uh, still you do not want to work um, on this occupation. Uh, I don't know why, because as a teacher, uh, you have so many perks. Uh, perks, it means uh, to have benefits or um, to have uh, good stuff, uh, like for being a teacher. First thing is that uh, you have pretty good salary and uh, you are free after 1 p.m. Every day, you are just free. Uh, 1 or 2 p.m., It's uh, the classes are over and uh, you are totally uh, free. You, 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 you can do whatever you want. That's for starters. Then another thing is that uh, you have this longer vacation, like two months, two months of paid vacations in uh, usually in summer. That's unheard of. Not other occupation can provide you that uh, stuff. So just think about that. But anyway, um, let's go on to the next topic. We usually talk about uh, something like, um, let's say, the big question to discuss, and we discussed uh, lots of stuff. Uh, which is uh, really uh, interesting for you to discuss. Of course, I have my own uh, things uh, to, which might be uh, interesting for you. But uh, first of all, I would like uh, to hear something from you. What uh, would you want to discuss? I mean, like a big, big question. Okay, just your five cents, your contribution. Go ahead. What do you want to discuss? Okay, I have some topic. So uh, the thing is, uh, my question is like, why uh, right now almost every kind of uh, good activity is shown on social media? So I mean, just if we plant trees then we of course make a photo of this or ask uh, TV television to go and to make a video of this or why we trying to we give postcards to just uh, teachers or something like that and after we make a photos of it and publish it in on our social media and uh, why right now good things are um, um, done are made uh, only for just some i don't know it's not like hype but just for some goals some purpose and not just uh, for doing good okay. something like that yeah, that's, uh, I think that everybody understands uh, the, the problem. Uh, now, what is your take? Just what is your opinion? My opinion is that just right now, I take, uh, for example, my school, that we have, of course, a competition of different these schools, and just every school want to be the better, and that everyone know how cool our school is, and just look how we are cool. We trying to be kind for everyone. And um, it's just so a little bit disgusting from seriously, just, I don't know, what is it? Uh, let's listen to some other people <laughs> because you know. Yeah, I'm terribly sorry. I just want to say hello to everyone here. Yeah. Oh, Mark. Yeah. Oh, good to have yeah, you hey. here. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm terribly sorry that I got a bit late. I had a kind of delay in my school. Sorry. That's all right. Good. Yeah, I was, you know, accurately listening to Masha's question. As far as I understand, um, the problem is that every kind of good activity is just shown in the social media. Yeah, right. Um, 
Well, uh, the explanation, um, personally for me, is really easy to give. People are doing that um, because uh, they want to get, you know, kind of uh, good feedback, kind of approval from others people. That's just that it, it is just how it is. Because anyway, uh, there are lots of uh, people uh, who don't have that kind of characteristic to, you know, to show off that they have that they have they have made something really good. Um, okay, Mark, just a couple of words about yourself for everybody to know you because, uh, um, yeah, please. Yeah, um, so um, as far as I understand, we're having you visit us here. So I'm Mark, I'm 14 years old. Um, I live in a firm uh, and I have been studying English for eight and a half years already. Okay. Very good. And uh, then uh, let's uh, take a turn uh, to saying something about this question, which Mark already answered. Alina is uh, the, um, well, how can I um, uh, tell the difference between these two Alinas? Um, well, let's say that Alina R and then Alina K. All right. So Alina R, what's your opinion about the question? I think that's uh, now, it's really um, many people uh, really uh, want to show that they uh, do good things, but there are many people uh, who uh, don't, uh, who doesn't show uh, that uh, they do something. Um, as for me, I know. Um, I, re I know uh, some stars and some, um, okay, some stars uh, and they are, um, they are um, build uh, uh, hospitals and uh, uh, help, uh, many uh, poor people and uh, they don't um, show this uh, everyone and uh, that's okay that's why we're here just I, I totally understand you I've been in your shoes many many times <laughs> so just yeah very good. Your answer is excellent. Okay, anything else you want to add? Okay, uh, so next is uh, uh, Maria. Uh, what do you think? All right. I think that uh, posting something on your social media is just another way of communication and you know that there is a place well where all your friends or even strangers are gathered together and you can share some thoughts some opinions and so on and the second reason is um, raising awareness uh, I mean that some many celebrities uh, post uh, social campaigns or just their thoughts, or just urge you to take some actions. And it raises awareness uh, around the world, like on many, 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 many uh, problems that is happening now. So it also play a vital role, posting something, especially when you have some audience, some followers, just to raise awareness and to urge people to do something. Okay, thank you. And uh, Alina K. Hello, Alina, are you with us? Uh, probably, uh, Yekaterina, what do you think? Um, well, I think that uh, social media social media uh, plays a vital role in our life and uh, I think that we can uh, discuss lots of topics uh, on this theme and uh, well uh, 
So uh, I think that uh, if uh, we discuss this uh, topic, uh, it will be really interesting for us. Okay, good. And uh, uh, Alina K, are you with us again? If if not, that's uh, I understand. So probably <clears throat> because I, I can see that uh, she's muted. Uh, you know the the microphone, the pictogram of microphone is muted. Okay. Very good. Now, um, Masha, do you think that uh, this answers your question? Yeah, because right now I understand that there's a lot of groups which are really trying to help others and uh, do not post everything on social medias. And I just understand that, you know, it's just how life is, that everything is going on and... Um, it's like something with which we should just uh, keep up with, just uh, to understand it and just uh, remember and have in mind that we should do good things by myself, by ourselves. And uh, that's all I think. Yeah. And uh, while you guys are thinking of uh, your other big questions, um, I, I will just... Um, my own contribution um I, I want to say a couple of words so um well first of all uh, if you think of the american school american high school or uh, any other institution in the united states of america um what is absolutely mandatory there is uh, uh so-called reporting if you know what I'm talking about. So the meaning is that even if you work for some company, almost every day, and uh, I'm talking every day, or sometimes at, at, uh, at the very least every week, you have to write a report. Uh, you have to write a report about everything you've been done uh, during this um, uh, period of time, like this day or this week. Well, uh, you know, some people think that this is a good uh, thing to do and other people think that this is not that good. I don't know. That's up to you to decide. But anyway, that gives you a chance, like some of you said, that, that gives you a chance to compare uh, the high schools. And, uh, you know, as I said, I uh, started talking about the United States of America. Why uh, this is important? Because... All of this reporting uh, gives you access to additional funds, uh, to additional money. So you have to keep in mind that probably, and I'm just, I'm not sure about the, how it uh, is going on in Russia, but maybe, maybe, you know, there is some um, incentive um, for uh uploading for posting uh, all of these successes, all of these achievements, because probably probably it, it will give uh, this school later some additional funds uh, from the authorities, some, uh, some additional money. Okay, uh, now, uh, if you uh, don't have anything to say about that, um, we can go to the next big question. So, uh, what is the big question, Mark? Do you have uh, one? Uh, that might sound really weird, but you know, I've just totally skipped almost everything you were saying because my internet connection is really weird. My ah, internet just turning okay. off, turns on, turning off, turns on. That's okay. I understand. So, uh, anybody else? Do you have a big question to discuss? Like Alina R, do you have a big question? I think I haven't. <laughs> okay, uh, Maria, how about you? Hello, Maria. Okay, uh, Ekaterina. Um, all right, yeah, I will just uh, disconnect people who uh, do not talk. Um, okay, then... Um, because we don't need people who do not talk. Um, all right, and then um, uh, I think that about, yeah, Yekaterina, do you have a, a big question to discuss? Well, I have no idea 
Well, uh, honestly, uh, I'm fond of theaters, probably. It will be interesting for me, but I don't know what about other people. Let's ask them. So that's, uh, you know, just try and ask them about that. Hey, uh, are you interested uh, in theaters to discuss uh, this, to discuss it? Okay, uh, I understand, but can you say more, can you be more particular? Okay, how is it? Okay, just uh, uh, give some... Other ways, uh, more specific or particular? More specific, yeah. Specific, that, yeah. Uh, just what about theater? What exactly? For example, we can discuss some performances uh, or uh, something that uh, you visited um, uh, in, the in the theaters or... Okay, yeah, it's cool, but you know, the problem is I was last time in theater, I don't know, maybe one and a half year ago because of the coronavirus. And uh, it just, uh, I can't remember what a, what a play, so I can discuss it. So if you have a question, we can answer it. So you can always start and uh, we will help you, something like that. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, it's kind of a, uh, maybe because you know that we have to learn some stuff. So, um, you know that uh, the, the biggest issue for I, for me, uh, it's always been, and uh, um, in particular this week, um, I've been talking with my students about uh, how to learn the vocabulary. And so um, they are, so many ways and at the same time people just still do not know how to learn the vocabulary uh, there 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 is no specific rules and the scientists still uh, haven't agreed about that so uh let me just um give you one question and uh you will try and uh, answer and then uh we will talk uh how uh, you can learn the vocabulary so if I ask you uh, to describe the Russian, or uh, if you are of the different ethnicity, you can choose another ethnicity, you know, uh, maybe we have so many ethnicities in Russia. But anyway, your national costume. So how would you describe your national costume? You, you can start and then we will talk about the vocabulary. Okay, it's really interesting question. It's really interesting. Uh, so as uh, I was dancing for, I have been dancing for nine years, Russian folklore dance, and I know a lot about costumes. So uh, of course it's uh, for girls, it's uh, big, long, uh, probably white and uh, wine, uh, white, uh, Lion uh, shirt, and uh, also there is uh, a red. Probably, of course, everyone when they think of Russia, they think about red dress, long red drink, red long dress. But probably the most of time it was uh, br brown, and uh, also girls have. Uh, uh, pigtails uh, or also they cover their hair with uh, okay Russian national costume if we discuss like the costume of uh, girls of I don't know when they were under in time of uh, for example Peter first Peter first it was like that because they were uh, under they will okay not like crops but uh, close with this and uh, but if russian national costume in uh, in its beautiful view then it's probably beautiful red dress 
and uh, okay. just uh, some uh, beautiful thank hair. You. Thank you so much uh, because you know that we need to listen to other people. Alina, um, are, uh, what would you say? Russian national costume. I think uh, that uh, wo uh, woman um, put on a white uh, long dress and um, uh, something like a dress, but without, um, without this this is your vocabulary that's why i'm asking i know i know my job i, I don't know uh, i don't know but, you, you know that uh, you please? can yeah oh, Masha, that, hold on i i know that you, you know sorry but okay. alina alina should know how to the, the strategy how to work with that right now okay. alina it's possible for you to look up the word uh, in the dictionary so th this is how we learn the vocabulary please uh, go ahead and do that uh, Ekaterina, uh, what is your take? What would you say? And uh, I will start uh, writing down the vocabulary which you suggest. Okay, um, now Ekaterina, please. Um, women's uh, national dresses were, uh, well, red uh, dresses and uh, they, uh, well, women's um, put on also um, some uh, pearls or uh, golden uh, okay we we do not speak uh, Russian okay yeah. and uh, well some decorative stones I think and um, well uh, they uh, put uh, some well, okay. I think yeah. that no, 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 it, it will not work. Okay, Mark, how about you? What would you say? Uh, well, <clears throat> so I need to say that everything that could have been said is already said, but yeah, um, but okay, uh, I agree with uh, all of uh, said about that girl said. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, less than a minute, I will just... Uh, yeah, all right. So there are lots of different uh, types of our national costumes. They have really different... Sorry, Ma sorry Mark, I will just add. So the, the dress is sleeveless, uh, sleeveless, okay. Um, yeah, okay. And uh, then it's uh, mostly, sorry, uh, I, I'm just making mistakes. In uh, It's called a pinafore, and I want you to know this word, and then... Uh, the headgear, like you said, um, for um, the for the head. Then, okay. Um, uh, anything else about that? Um, then uh, also uh, in the in in the front. So pinafore is uh, the uh, the Russian word is sarafan. Uh, it's pinafore. It's pin. It's uh, something which you uh, pin. Uh, if you understand uh, that. Um, 